Hello and welcome back to Nordic Nomad. My name is Mike and today is a fun one because I was browsing the Steam library and of course I'd be living in that free to play category and I couldn't help but see an interesting title labeled What If George Washington Was a Girl? So you know my happy ass had to go in there and be like what is this and what is happening and what is going on? And I downloaded it, and now we're going to play it. So here we are. Without further ado, here's What If George Washington Was a Girl. All right. So I just launched the game, obviously, and I immediately get launched into this screen right here, which is, you know, an interesting art. But I will say the music is honestly kind of stellar, in my opinion. You know, for a free game, just take a minute. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, let's do it. It says press start anywhere. Let's do it. All right. What do we got? I like the art style, though. It's got a nice art style. I will say that. The icy forest. Whispering. Teddy, are we getting closer? Are we getting close to the villain? To thy villain? This is Teddy Roosevelt. How do you know we're getting close to Mozart? We are being trailed. Hastily, eyes over and wondered, what? Sprung, sprung. We're being followed. What? What are they? Mozart's underlings, insidious creatures crafted by diabolical music, musical magic. They work for Mozart. Oh no, what should we do? Continue forth valiantly, Teddy. No harm can come from these simpletons. Our target lies ahead. Shouldn't we take, our, take her by surprise? I hurt you strong. Maybe we should prepare m prepare more. No? What's who, this? Wait, is Mozart a girl? Oh, wait, I guess if Washington was a girl, then Mozart's probably a girl, too. Okay, yeah. Evil music play. Has to announce the evilness. I have announced the evilness. Halt, villain. This is Mozart. Mozart, the dark musician. I almost said magician. Ha, dyslexia. Humph, <laughs> Templars. Oh my god, this music is so loud. Uh, Templars, the UN sent these dogs. They mustn't see me as much of a threat seen as your merely class B, Teddy and George. Poof. We're more than enough for the likes of you. Last temp last ye temper with thy loyalties, merely a centerpiece of ye unruly ways and demeanor. What? Pardon? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unsheath thy weapon. We must take this nigh any further, lest thy lest thine shut self be true the heck is she's i'm also confused huh here add this to your translator oh thank you oh they're so nice to each other wait this is very futuristic here you can have it back oh you can hang on to that i have a ton Hanging out with her, you can imagine how many I need. What? Yeah, I bet. What? Okay, I'll head back over there now. Okay, I'll see you. I said, prepare yourself, villain. We are here to stop you. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes much better. Uh, 
Just try to stop me, dogs. Take this. Ah! Teddy! Don't worry about me, but you have to defeat her yourself. Bring it on, George. An exciting and stunning choreography choreographied fight scene with thrills and tense action breaks out between George and Mozart, with George getting the upper hand as she leaps on the stage. That is enough of that. It's over for you and your plans. You think you can stop me? You have no idea of what the planning, the time, nor the, my resolve. Nothing will stop me from destroying Antarctica. Why, though? Why? Wait, oh, choices. You think you can stop me? Oh, yeah. Uh, why are you trying to just... Oh, yeah, why? What's with the penguins? What's your problem, Mozart? I'm bringing you back to the UN. I want to know why. Why? Wouldn't you like to... I would like to know, actually. What's with the penguins? That's for me to know and you to find out. Except you won't. <laughs> Throws a full-on penguin at me. Okay. <coughs> Curses. Looks like she escaped us penguin what looks like she escaped us penguin quack you're right I need to find Teddy Teddy oh hey George are you okay yeah I'm good can you pull me down on it though so she threw a penguin at you and escaped that's cold we have to report this to the UN there's something more to this mission we aren't seeing. Let's go out to the night gale. Her place is close. What? We're going there? Isn't there a better place we can report to? No! We must make haste. This penguin something... This penguin something about it tells me we are running out of time. Dun 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 dun. Oh no. I better take this bandage off. No, Teddy. You are still injured. Keep that there. I need you healed as soon as possible. But you know what happens, George. At one time, I had a paper cut. The night gale forced me into two weeks of recovery. Could you imagine what she'll do if she sees this? Fear not, Teddy. This penguin conspiracy is far more important than anything you're thinking about. I have a bad feeling about this. Who's this nightingale? I am so confused. Also, am I playing a game or reading a story? I'm not sure, but I'm entertained. The Nightgale Tower. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe she isn't here. Let's go. No, we have to signal her lamp. Follow. George and Teddy. Oh. Uh. What is this? Uh huh. Nothing. We just found it in outside. We wanted to help clean the environment from litter. Do you have a garbage kit? No, keep it. Use it to heal someone you might come across. We must heal anyone at any time. Neva, every time of the day, George. What brings you to here to me, the night gale? It couldn't be about this bandage. Um, It's about the bandage. We have information about Mozart and needed help from a higher tier Templar. We have this penguin. <laughs> Today, Teddy got injured. Definitely needs assistance. Uh, yes, I heard her evil Sonata. You were in charge of this case. The UN must trust you to handle this in most important case. I have something to discuss with you in private. But first, Teddy. What? Since you are interested in medicine, seeing as you have that bandage, you must become my protege. <laughs> what? It must happen. Come with me now. George, please speak with my assistant as I take Teddy. Ah. <laughs> Hello, just Nightingale's assistant. Hello, George. I am uh, one of the Nightingale's assistants. Greetings. Um, did we meet yet? Not to be rude, but you all look identical. 
Yes, we have, but here, let me take this penguin from you. Follow us inside. You are free to look around. Speak with me when you are ready. The nightingale has something she wishes to speak with you about of sensitive nature. Oh, I get to actually play now. Are you... What? How do I move? I don't know. Um... You actually never gave me any tutorial about anything, so... Yeah. You see someone... You see someone bandage his head to toe in what looks like the recovery room. The bandaged person shows you a crude drawing of a moon. They are drawing. You are confused. Hmm... Uh... This way? This way? Ooh. So what did the Nightingale want to tell me? Mrs. N Miss Nightingale knew about your mission and was hoping you would stop here. Huh? What's that mean? Whispering. Here, take this. One of the Templars went missing. This is her last known location. Find her and return her here. Don't mention this to the UN. What's this about? <laughs> Mrs. Nightingale trusts you and Teddy. Something bigger is happening for far bigger than Mozart. I knew it. This mission Templar is some is also something Mrs. Gale trusts to go to that location. Bring her back here. In the meantime, we will help you with the Mozart situation. I should get Teddy. Teddy will stay here with us. Please hurry and find the missing Templar. Ah, fine. Panic, 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 panic. Ah, exit. Exit. Leave it. Ooh. The dance village. Oh, yeah, because I'm already dancing, too. I'm finally here. Time to investigate and find the missing Templar. Ah, yes. I just click around. Do I talk to this person? Hello, or should I say, Elefanto? <laughs> um, Elefanto to you too? Do not speak elephant to me. You can't use our words. Oof. It's a wanted poster for a criminal terrorizing the town known as Carver. Okay. What? What this? Meow. Meow. I can't believe I just... Okay. Hello. Tiny Dancer. What's up, dudette? Hey, are you the resident here? That would be, but we be been here for many a moon. <laughs> Have you seen any Templars around here? Templars? Knights of the UN. We preserve peace. You have to know that. You have to know what Templars are. There was a gal around here. She had her stupid hair. Is that who you're looking for? What? Stupid hair? That isn't even helpful. What did you expect? Do you want us to be sane with shoe stealer stalking us? Shoe stealer? Yes, there's a shoe stealer. They've been stealing our shoes. We're calling from the carver. There's a Templar here recently that was in charge of looking for them. What did you say? A Templar? Yes, a Templar. They are Knights of the UN. <laughs> yes, I know where they... Where are they? We don't know. They disappeared like one day ago. No, t no two days ago. This woman is... On something. Two days ago? One day ago. One or two days ago. One times two is two, two days ago. Uh, here, take this. This use, take this used toothbrush. I don't want that used toothbrush. You take this used toothbrush and never speak to us again. What the heck? I'm so confused. What is happening? There's nothing in the alleyway. Um, you can't find anything in the trash can. 
I have no idea what's happening. This game is on something. This is insane. Meow. Now I'm confused. Hey, is that a toothbrush? Yeah. And you're just giving it away? I wasn't really doing anything with it. And you expect to pass it to me? What are you talking about? Listen here, bub. You listen here well. I'll give you this fish. You know what you can do with this fish? I don't want a fish. You give me this fish to that cat over there. This is a wise cat. You have a question, it has your answers. I'm not talking to a cat and I don't want the fish. Oh, so you're trying to force a used toothbrush on me and when I try to help you by giving you this cat gift friendly fish, you deny me? I thought Templars were supposed to be kind and welcoming. Give me the fish then. Can I have that toothbrush? Here, take it. You try to force a toothbrush upon me because I am an elephant? <laughs> I'm leaving now. Hey cat. Meow. You want this fish? Meow. Meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. You speak cat? Whoa, so you do talk. What do you think of that? It's neat. Can't usually... Cats can't... It's neat. Cats usually can't talk. You want this fish? That person in the elephant suit said you want it and you are wise. <coughs> what is your name? George Washington? Georgia Washington? Yeah, George Washington. Georgia. Listen here, Georgia. That person is not a real elephant. Yeah, I know. I said they were in a suit. They are a cheat and a liar. I do not want that fish. They are, they are not lying about me being wise. That's good. Everyone around here is hard to talk to. I need some help finding someone. I know who you are looking for. But first, you must realize something. Georgia, the people here, they are afraid. Do not judge them so harshly. I know. There's a shoe stealer or something called the Carver... Look, I am being nice. I accepted their stupid gifts. Those gifts were not stupid. They were brought to you and I together. Look, Georgia, I see the things around you, this village, and the person you were looking for it, Looking for was investigating the shoe stealer. Were they? I saw them one night in that alley. Georgia, I need you to wait in that alley until night. You need to find the different shoe stealer. Or you need to find and defeat the shoe stealer. They will find your friend. Do you know where they are? If I stop this shoe stealer, will they? Will you tell me? I don't know where they are, but believe me, you will find them if you find the shoe stealer. The carver, I am wise. I am a wise cat. Go now, Georgia. Wow, this this game is absolutely on one. It's night now. So I just wait for the carver. Things in the alleyway. Where's the cat? It better not be this shoe stealer and setting me up for a trap. But it's the it's a cat, so I could just throw water on, water on it to get it to stop. Yes, yes. Use water to anger cat to make it go away. Got it. Georgia Washington. I'm not gonna yell into the mic for you. Who's there? He, 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 who, 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 indeed, Georgia. Show yourself. You think me foolish? You are nothing but garbage, be garbage beneath me. How do you know in my name? Are you that cat? I am no feline, Georgia. You are, uh, you and I are alike, me and you, you and me, we complete each other. This is spooky. Are you this shoe stealer, the carver? Is that what this village calls me? Do they know this is because of you? What are they talking about? All my life I've waited 
watching you, and now you're here standing before me. I thought my plans had failed when another Templar showed up. What? What happened to the other Templar? Tell me! That stupid-haired shorty. Yes, she tried to fight me, but... What? Did you say? Oh, frick. She's escaped. Be seeing you, Georgia, real soon. Wait. Get back here, villain. Crash. You get back here. Call me short one more time. You think I can't take you tied up? I know your trick now, Carver. Bonnie? What? Georgia? Hurry, get these ropes off. I'm going to destroy that fool. Looks like they're gone. What happened? I was sent on a mission here to take out this villain. Called the Carver. I was, wiped the f I was wiping the floor with that idiot until they caught me by surprise, tying me up and locking me in that room. Surprise? How? They knew my one weakness. How they knew I had no idea no one except me and a few people in the UN know. Hmm, interesting. What? The Nightingale sent me here to find you. Told me not to tell the UN. Keep it a secret. Something is up. There is a bigger mystery at play here. The Nightingale, huh? Let's go see what's up. Yeah. Also, that Carver person totally knew you, knew you or something. They all, all they talked about was you. Super creepy. I know. I have no idea who or what it is, but that is not important right now. Let's head out. So we're just leaving that carver here then? Fear not. Carver is nothing compared to what's going on right now. I'll call in the, esca the evac evacuation team to get a villagers to a safe spot, then later come back and find this villain. You got lucky this time, Carver, but I'll find you soon. Spooky. This is insane. The Carver stands silently as they stalk away. Mmm. Watching in the dark. Yes. Mmm. The Carver is always watching. Bonnie. What? You escaped to tell me my secret weakness, huh? I was just wondering how something, someone managed to trap you is all. To tell you the truth, that Carver was actually quite strong. I was stronger, of course, but still. Super weird they knew about me. Who could it even be? Georgia! Who's that? Oh, it's just Teddy. Georgia, I found you. I managed to convince the Nightingale to let me find you. Do you have any idea what would could have happened if I failed? Oh, hello, Bonnie. Teddy. Wait. You were the missing Templar? Georgia had to rescue you? Bonnie? Ha. Ha 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 ha. I mean, <clears throat> I'm glad you're safe, Bonnie. Well, that must have been a powerful foe. Oh, Georgia, the Nightingale wants us to report to the, to the Beethoven about Mozart. She likes setting up a meeting. What is going on, Teddy? Beetho Beethoven is a class S. You expect me to know? I could barely keep up with everything she was saying, but I'll keep this short. Huh? Keep this what? What did you just say, Teddy? I mean, I mean, I'll keep this brief. Yeah, you keep it brief. Look, I'm going to the Nightingale. You two go, go do whatever. See ya, Bonnie. Bye, Bonnie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to go now, Georgia. We don't want to be late. Wonder where, <laughs> Georgia, Washington. Wonder where they are. The meeting time was ten minutes ago. Probably busy doing S-class stuff. Hey, I forgot to tell you something. Like I broke into your house when we, you were gone. Oh, that's weird. Wait, what? Yeah, it was like a raccoon or something, they said. You're just telling me this now? What are you getting mad at me for? I said I forgot, and now I'm telling you. That's a big deal, Teddy. Oh, they're calling me. Quick, get professional. 
You tell me more about this afterwards, Teddy. Georgia and Teddy, hello. Greetings, Beethoven. Beethoven. Beethoven? Beethoven? I never pronounce. Beethoven? Hello. So the Nightingale told me about Mozart. Very troubling. So she's a, she was hoarding penguins? Yes, she is quite strong, too. Her power level is almost triple than what we have every on record. Do you think she's using some of these penguins for power? I do not know. We searched her basement, but found nothing of value. We freed the penguins and took all of their musical minions before leaving. We would definitely need more fighting power on this mission. Going forward, were you able to track her afterwards? She escaped. Unfortunately, no. This seems to be a bigger problem than originally thought. The timing could not be worse, too. What do you mean? The Grandmaster su Summit is in two days. Please come back to the base. We will need you to here. You may need to come with this summit to report on Mozart. There will be a representative there from Antarctica. What? The summit? We will be there as fast as we can. Right, Teddy? But... Wonderful. Oh, Janice wanted to speak up with you. Speak with you. Janice. I will see you here. Good day. Goodbye. What, Janice? I hate that chick. Oh, Jesus. She has got something going on. What What was that, Teddy? I said, I hate you, Janice. I, you heard me. Damn, he is frosty. You want to fight? Yeah, I do. Bring it on. What do you want, Janice? Look, you didn't hear anything about any mission Templars, have you? Missing? Oh, no. Haven't heard anything. What's up? Mm -hmm. You can't lie to me. I'm a rank A. I'm higher than you, and I'll tell... No, Janice, we wouldn't hear it. We didn't hear anything. This seems like a kind of a big deal. Why are you pestering us? Just tell me if you heard anything unusual. Got it? You guys were hanging out with that nightingale, weren't you? I would probably report an un, un I would probably report to an upper class. Not you if I did. What's your guys' problem? You, Janice, are a terrible terrible person, and I hate you. <laughs> Hey, screw you, buddy. I'm out. Man, I hate her so much. Why does she get to be a class A? This is a very strange teddy. This is very strange, Teddy. We need to keep our guard up, even within the base. Anyone? Anyways, now that we can, what do you want to take a boat or plane? We get to use company credit since it's a business trip. A plane, definitely. Let's get fancy food and clothes, too. Yes, we need a break. Let's enjoy our time as much as we can. This is the sense. Since this is the start of a massive, potentially world ending saga ahead. Oh no. What if George was a girl? Okay. I am proud. Okay, so I cut the audio because I'm proud. I don't want a copyright on the issue. But anyways, that was what if George Washington was a girl? So that was a weird indie game. It is free on Steam, and you are welcome to play it. My quick rating on that is probably easily like a, I don't know, like a seven out of ten, just because it was really fun. It's a quick little like quick clicker i mean i 30 minutes to play through it nothing crazy it's really got a fun story to it so if you're interested in that kind of thing it's really fun it's not really a long game nothing too crazy obviously there was not a lot of playing there but it was still very fun so check it out if you get the time for it absolutely killer for that one so that does bring it to the end of the video though so thanks so much for watching i appreciate you and i will see you guys on the next one okay and until next time stay frosty